beer can and I cut it up to shim it and then I used a piece of cardboard from uh, junk mail that I soaked in some oil and uh, I shimmed the uh, the barrel so it is a true clone correct garbage rod shooter are you ready 150 yeah I have to aim to the right okay that was a dead on hit so impact Neutralized. Okay, 200. And back. Neutralized. 250. And back. Okay. All right, three hundred. Impact. Did uh, Khrushchev's mallet make an appearance? Oh yeah. 350. Okay. On that one, your elevation was good. You were on the right edge. Come okay. left, maybe a quarter of a target. Okay, so so the sights on this are a little wonky. Uh, when I zeroed it, it, it hits a little bit to the left. Impact. Neutralized. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, <shut up. laughs> How far off are you holding? It's a whole target like to the right, but I'm holding. Ah, okay. Your uh, your windage was actually not bad, but you were high by about half a target. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Uh, that was. About a quarter of target length high. Okay. There it is. Neutralized. So when you give it back to Lonnie, does um does he get the beer can shims with it? Yeah, it's fully accurized, man. This is quality work. You doubt my work right here, Josh. I I can accurize your rifles for you too if you'd like. It's it's, it's okay over here. <laughs> 450. All right, so let's do this. Okay, windage was good. You're high by half a target. Okay. Jesus Let me try to use 400 in a bullseye. Yeah, say so you might. Yeah, you might hold yeah. 400 dead on. Okay, so the camera just died, and we had to revive it. Yeah. Just so you guys know. Sure That's certainly a hit. Oh, well, that was a miss. I, I aim too far to the right. Yeah. It was slightly high. Oh, really? Yeah, just slightly. So I'm trying to essentially touch it with the with the left side of the post. Yeah. Uh, so, so the left side of the front post. Yeah. And use that as your reference point. Yeah. yeah. Impact. Okay, this one I'll use 450 meters uh, for uh, 500 yards. Yeah. 
500. Because there's so much mud there and it's just literally not giving me any sort of splash to call off of, why don't you try aiming a little bit lower? Okay. And see if I can get a call lower in the dirt, uh, for at least for your windage. The whole, okay. the whole camera moves whenever the shot goes off, so it's... Do you see those zipstick targets to the left? Yeah. Would those be easier for you to call? I don't know. It depends. Would you like to try that? Yeah, sure. Try the one on the left, the, the white one with the head target. I mean, it's technically slightly smaller because it's a C-zone, I right. believe. Just try it. I've got five impacts on it, on the plate. Go ahead and send one more. I'm gonna see if I can see a sixth impact show up. Nope, nothing. Oh. That was a headshot. Okay. So it's, it's hitting a little bit high. Yeah, and that goes along with what I was seeing earlier, which was I thought I saw a high right hit uh, okay, when you were aiming okay. lower. Let's try this again then, for okay. the neutralized shot. Okay. Still on the IPSC, correct? Yes. All right, fire one ready. <laughs> neutralized. So you're, you're on a 450, a 450 bullseye hole. Yeah, 500, which should be like which for is like. Which is, 500 is 457 meters. Right, so, so it should be like for like. Yeah, it's pretty much. But on. we're seeing this yeah. much deviation. I mean, there's there's a lot of ammo deviation too. Yeah. I mean, this was this is Russian issued ammo from the 70s. Yeah. Whereas this rifle was built in 1939. Oh, granted, we're shooting at torsos. Yeah, we're which, not shooting at MOA targets. Right, but, but it's designed to do that. Exactly. We rag on the rifle quite a bit. You know, and obviously, you know, part of that has to do with the fact of the representation that it has, but also because you know, this exact rifle might not be a glowing reputation of the type that it's hitting. Mm -hmm. um, but none of that was standing. Just stick it out and we're hitting, hitting C zone size targets at mm -hmm. 500 yards. It's I, and I, I, a lot of times. I mean, what I tell people, I I don't like the Mosin, but I definitely respect it. Yeah. Two, one big turn, two packs, break on one. Okay.